Good evening guys. Wow. I've spent a few hours designing the new glare wing. In fact, we're on version 15 right now. So when I did the post last night, that was version 14. But I forgot the captain's chrono and mic button panel, which means I've had to go for another revision. And hopefully what we're gonna do is let me just show you which panel I'm talking about. So it's the little panel that fits in there. Uh, it's been completely redesigned and hopefully downstairs right now, the 3D printer has finished the resin. Hence is why I've got my resin jacket on. That's if you want, it's a dust coat, but I've been destroying all my clothes by wearing uh, my standard clothes for using resin. And of course it splashes onto all your clothes and ruins them. Of course, gloves, most important. I've only just picked a few things up and they're covered in resin already. So let's have a look at these. And there we go. We've got six little panels. I have made them so they're backlightable. He says, even though he can't quite see that right now, but hopefully they're hidden behind the resin. It's just the pockets full of resin. Right. I think what we need to do is get these off. Now the reason these have to be resin printed is because they're quite a unique shape. Probably when we've got the resin cleaned off you better see it a bit better. Let me just close the lid on the resin printer. So there's our little mic clock button that goes on the glare wing, fully painted. Time for a quick fiber laser and we'll just see how it looks. I think it's going to quickly make sure that the, the height is correct. Oh, it's nowhere near. Good job I checked. So it looks good about there. Let's hit the pedal. Done. Cool lads, look at that. A quick backflow lighting check with the phone. Hopefully you can see, there we go. It's lighting up really well, perfect. So hot off the printers is GW2, Glare Wing 2 in there, look. It's got the modified fascia for the new panel. So we've got two brass inserts to go in there and there, two uh, push buttons to go there and there. But first of all, we need to put the backlight in and we've got these three millimeter flat white LEDs, they're warm white, sorry. So, yep, we've got the long leg heading towards the top of the panel on the first one, and they just push in. There's no way they can come out because they're a friction fit. And because they're tapered, the more you push them in, the tighter they get. So on this next one, if that's long leg facing to the top of the panel, the next one is gonna be long leg to the bottom of the panel. We're gonna connect these in series. So that's three volts, six volts, nine volts. And then we just need a small resistor to connect to the 12 volt back lighting. Let me just double check the legs. So long leg needs to go towards the top on this one. There we go. Yep. So there's our cathode on the first one. That will go off with a wire. We want the long leg to go across to this one, which means we can bring this long leg down. 
like so. Could do with some side cutters, here they are. We don't need the legs to be that long. So, there's one, and this one can go there. The same for this now. In fact, we can probably just cut these. And we're gonna fold those over as well. I actually think that's our backlighting complete. But before going any further, let me just put two brass inserts into here. Two. Of course, we need some heat shrink to protect them now. And there we have it, our fully backlightable chrono panel with mic button. Both buttons will work. We've got the light flow panel lit up there. There we go. I don't know if it's gonna work with all the studio lights, but I guess you can see it. Okay guys, that's it for this panel. You've seen how we've got the build process. Really went from prototype to proof of concepts very quickly. In fact, first to 10, which is the way I like it. Really like it. Just got to pay a bit more attention to the paint on the top screw hole there where it's a bit recessed. You can see the light coming through the side, which is not what I want. So a bit more paint in there, but that will work really well. I think that's going to look really good on the glare wing. Until later, this Carl out.